This is Fox 9 Good Day. 945 on the button. Food we know can help break down the walls of language, of culture, of religion, and more. And tonight and tomorrow, a chef from Boston is bringing his journey of discovering Indian cuisine to the Twin Cities through a series of events. Chef Keith Saracen has authored four cookbooks. The topics range from mastering fermentation to the ultimate recipes for meat. He is in town for a pop-up tonight at Rog Restaurant in Edina. And Chef Keith is here along with the owner of uh, Rog Sohil Gorha. Nice to see you two. Same here, pleasure. Thanks your for having us. second time back. Yes. Uh, okay, let's, uh, we're gonna start first with your journey to discovering Keith Indian food, which maybe is a little bit, you know, more unusual than most. Yeah, clearly I don't fit the bill, right? <laughs> <laughs> we always say that. Um, so I run a pop-up series called Atma, which is the Hindi word for soul. And the reason I do it is I've actually studied food from the subcontinent for over 16 years. Um, it became a passion of mine when a friend of mine and his family had a little Indian restaurant, and he's like, you gotta try this. And that one bite changed my life. And so now I'm on this mission to tell people that there's wonderful history that goes beyond just traditional curry that people might be used to. Absolutely. And it can be tough to branch out and try new flavors. <laughs> it, it really can be. I grew up as a picky eater. I'm a super New Englander, so we were very kind of regimented <laughs> in what we sure. eat. But now it's it's beautiful to discover these flavors. And, and so, Hill, so, you know, t the two of you coming together might seem a little unusual. I explain how, you know, your reaction to Keith and the fact that he had this mm -hmm. breadth of knowledge of Indian food and you, Keith, you don't look like maybe you would. Absolutely, <laughs> totally fair. No, absolutely, and I think I met you last time uh, when we did it with Chef Roche. So when I bought Rag about a year and a half ago, my mission was to build a brand in the Twin Cities wherein people should know, and I'm originally from New York, so people in the Twin Cities should see Indian food in a different light because uh, Indian food is very diverse. It's very difficult to put it in a box. So this year, my mission was to do a bunch of chef collaboration series and uh, bring some of these talented chefs to the Twin Cities to show them the art of Indian fusion food. So I always call it Indian inspired food. Uh, and it's easy for the Twin Cities patrons to try and come to a restaurant on 50th and France versus getting on a plane and go to Boston. <laughs> so. This is true. <laughs> well, tell us about tonight's event then. Sure, so I'm super excited to uh, to be with the team here over at ROG. Uh, we're doing seven courses. Whoa. And uh, not one of those courses will be kind of a traditional curry, like butter chicken or chicken tikka masala. Uh, and even some of the stuff that we have before us today, this is a kolapori duck masala. And uh, masala means spice. So if we kind of break okay. it down a little bit, it's easy to do that. But spice doesn't mean spicy. And duck mm. is a protein that's used in Maharashtra, it's used in Kerala, and even the eastern part of India as well. That comes with this poha, which is a flattened rice that's beautiful, a little bit of tamarind chutney, and uh, the flavors just mesh so well. And it's funny, because you see this and you don't think Indian food necessarily, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, and then we also have another bite that we're gonna be doing this evening, and this is called idli chaat. And idli is basically fermented rice and dal uh, that's steamed, and then we fly, uh, fry it in beautiful ghee, which is really rich and nice. We top it with potent, which is kind of this powder that's gorgeous and flavorful, and then a mint chutney on it. And so they're fun flavors and textures, because everyone has that memory of like crunchy rice that we love mm -hmm. so much. Oh, yeah. Same sort of concept with this. So we're gonna be presenting all of that tonight for a sold out audience, and it's just great to be in Minneapolis. And, and Keith, so I understand you're working on a documentary called uh, Finding India. Uh, yeah. Just tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So uh, we've been filming in New York so far. We're going to be in Miami and then India. Uh, and it's all about the journey of what it's been like for a Westerner like me who grew up with really bland food to really understand you know, try to understand what is India and what is Indian food. And I don't know if I can still define what Indian food is because I think it's subjective of where we are, right? For, for sure. When can we watch that? What's the plan? So, <laughs> touch wood. <laughs> we'll, right, uh, I know that's a hard question to answer, probably. Yeah, we, uh, we hopefully will be releasing next year as we start to get the, the final shoots underway. And we've had amazing chefs on the show, and I'm just, it's weird. I never thought in a million years I'd be able to do a documentary. So what I'm a humble. dream. Yeah. It's so fun. It sounds incredible. Uh, how do you find the people who you're going to bring in for these chef-driven events? So the good news is uh, I believe in the mission of ask uh, before <laughs> yeah. assuming a no. So I literally reached out to Keith on Instagram and I have targeted a bunch of chefs who I believe will bring fusion flavors. Uh, for example, I'm in talks with the Jamaican chef we were talking about mm. it backstage because Jamaican Caribbean cuisine is very influenced with the Indian flavors as well. So we're trying to bring a James Beard chef in another month and a half to Minneapolis to do that. So I, I have a list I go through, never uh, hesitate to ask. 
because I'm on a mission like Keith in uh, at least in our small capacity mm -hmm. in the Twin right. Cities, uh, bring flavors and give an experience unlike any to the locals. Uh, so Hill, you, so you've done some of these pop-up uh, events. Is there a, a response from people out there that, that, well, I don't know, maybe was surprising as far as introducing them to these flavors of India? So uh, honestly, the only reaction is, why didn't I come in before? Mm. <laughs> and why was I having this image of Indian food? And I don't blame them because in the Twin Cities, unlike New York, San Francisco, Chicago, Indian food is more mainstream, it's more mm -hmm. upscale, it's more uh, played around with, like Keith and Rosh and Manit Chauhan and a bunch of other chefs, uh, celebrity chefs, right? So I'm excited yeah. to bring this here and uh, continue doing the mission we are on. Yeah. And uh, I saw some uh, Instagram videos about mm. some of the drinks you're whipping up there. We did. We just got featured as one of the top bars on the street on 50th They're and Friends. Amazing. So it's not just about the food at Rag. Uh, we actually have signature cocktails that pair with the food. So our menu, if you look at it, is very diverse from lobster, ribs, mm -hmm. scallops to a samosa. I'll give you an example. Uh, once Keith is gone on Friday, <laughs> I'm doing a samosa festival for the month of May. Now you might think samosa is a street food in India. It's mm -hmm. the most common street food. Guess what we did? We did a crowdsourcing campaign. I published 28 recipes online. People voted. And oh. we are hand rolling puff pastry sheets for eight of those, which will be available at RAG from 1st of May till the stocks last. <laughs> so that's my <laughs> concept of how I want to bring in more flavors and different concepts. Uh -huh. Great idea. Know. Yeah, Thank you. I'm kidding. My mouth is watering. <laughs> uh, Keith and Sohil, thanks so much for joining us. And to find out more again about the pop-up event tonight, head to ragindiancuisine.com. I think you mentioned it's sold out, so the next one. Mm. Next one. <laughs> <So the next laughs> Thank one. you. Right. Good day. We'll be right back.